good? Game is okay. 16, 16 points. Okay. Call the meeting of the North Reading School Committee to order for Monday, September 13th. First meeting after the opening of school. So look forward to the superintendent's report tonight on that. Our first order of business is public input. Is there anybody to be heard under public input? Okay, seeing none. Next, we'll move back to one of our favorite agenda items, which we miss all summer. Um, John's here tonight for our student report. John? Hi, everyone. Glad Welcome to be back. back. Um, probably the big thing is school started. You know? <laughs> it's, it's been, today was the fifth day, so you know, getting back into the swing of things. Uh, don't have a lot to talk about, but uh, get going. Uh, football had their first uh, uh, under the lights game last uh, fr Friday against Ipswich. They lost, but uh, they have a game this Thursday against Newburyport, which is also under the lights. Uh, volleyball beat Wilmington and Lexington at home last week, and I'm sure Mr. Nancy They knows beat Saugus today. They beat Saugus tonight, too. <laughs> I was walking in as my sisters were walking out. Um, uh, the Masker is casted for their fall play, which is called The Kitchen, and they uh, actually announced their fall musical, which is Barnum. So I, I've heard rumors that they have to train on trapezes at Jordan's, so <laughs> it should be interesting. Um, do we have a liability policy about that? We probably do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, soccer, the boys' soccer had their first home game tonight, but I think it was rained out when I drove. Well, by. they were still playing, but they had a delay because of lightning. Oh, really? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the... Uh, Slam orientation. I, I was a part of that. Uh, we had 150 kids, freshmen, show up. Uh, it's 75 percent of the incoming class. Uh, we got donations from the Horseshoe, the Piccadilly Pub, uh, from a bunch of other local businesses. Uh, we had hot dogs, hamburgers, pulled pork. We had we had some good food, and we brought them around the school. We uh, we sh we showed them their classes and answered their their questions, things like that. Um, SAD and Model UN are signing up tomorrow, their meetings, and Model UN I'm part of. Uh, we're discussing whether or not to go to Harvard, puts on a conference every year, and it's in January, so we're going to be discussing that. It would be similar to the one we went to last year at Northeastern, where we came in uh, fourth. And then the elections for this position, the uh, students to the school committee, is going to be sometime next week. There's actually only technically two people elected, my sister Sarah and Marina Galato. I'm kind of out of a term right now, so I'm the de facto member, and uh, we need to, so there's going to be a new senior, a new sophomore, and a new member at large, which will be sometime next week. And then student work, it's only five days, so I don't have much student work, but I figured I'd just bring some books. Uh, this is, I'm taking sports and entertainment marketing, so we're kind of, uh, we're doing the basics right now, and um, I actually went to the BC game on Saturday, so it was kind of funny. You actually notice, like, all oh, this sports logos there and there and there. But um, we're doing uh, homework assignments from, you know, w when you watch TV, write down all the commercials you see and marketing basics and things like that. Uh, kind of goes along with I'm taking economics, too, so you're doing the basics of economics, P PPC um, uh, models and things like that. Um, AP Gov, summer assignment was to read Hardball by Chris Matthews. I enjoyed the book. Uh, if you don't know... If you haven't read the book, he does political sayings, and he kind of explains how they're used in the real world. So uh, one of them was Tip O'Neill's uh, All Politics is Local. You had to write a paper on three of those, and um, you had to uh, give modern examples for them. Uh, Brit Lit, we're reading Beowulf. Good book. I like it so far. Uh, Anatomy, we have to, uh, we're starting a project where we take Play-Doh. You have to make a little man, and we're doing a dissection. So you have a little different color Play-Doh, different color organs, things like that. And then Spanish, we had to sign a contract. We're not allowed to speak English anymore between the bells. So all Spanish, Spanish five this is. And uh, that's basically it for me. I'm assuming the uh, sports and entertainment marketing class is uh, quite full. There are three sections of, wow. of wow. 20, I think there's 28 in my class or something like that. So there's three full sections of it. And mm -hmm. Hardball is not a baseball book? Or? No, it's not. I think that was Jim Boughton, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Also wrote a book called Hardball, yeah. but that was about Focus. some other stuff. Focus. Any questions for John? Thanks, John. Good John, to see you back. Thank you. Um, if the committee doesn't mind, I think I'd like to move uh, switch, uh, move the introduction of the new administrators up to the next item, if that's okay with the committee, before we get into uh, continued business. So, Kathy? Thank you so much. Well, I'm pleased to introduce um, many members that are new to the administrative staff this evening. And I'd like to start by asking Patricia Bullard to come forward. 
Uh, Patty, could you sit in that seat? I'm going to tell the committee a little bit about you, and then you'll have a few minutes to make a few comments. Patty most recently was the Administrator of Special Education in the Peabody Public School System. She attained her Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education from Salem State College and her Master of Education in Moderate Special Needs also from Salem State. So Patty, I want to give you an opportunity to say a few words to the committee. Thank you, Kathy. First and foremost, I want to thank you for welcoming me here tonight and to meet all of you. And I want to say that I'm very excited to be working for North Reading. I bring a lot of experience in the special ed realm, and I had a wonderful, I've been on board since August 20th, so I have a wonderful transition period with Christine Janju. So I feel quite prepared, feel that I've accessed quite a bit of knowledge already, and um, I'll be spending the next weeks getting to know all of the programs, visiting the schools more so, and meeting with those classroom teachers and the staff. So again, I, I want to work very hard for all of you as well as the children. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. Welcome. I, I just want to say obviously this is a um, you know, key position in any school system. So it, it's it's nice to have you here. Um, we're gonna miss Chris, but it's nice to have you here and you have great experience in Peabody. So we're looking forward to uh, to working with you on some of the hard cases and some of the easy cases. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> any other questions? All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Martha. Martha Burke is our new Assistant Director of Pupil Personnel Services. And Martha also comes to us from the Peabody Public School District. She was most recently an IEP team chairperson. She has worked at, at the elementary level, the middle school level, and the high school level. So she comes to us well prepared in this position. She earned her Bachelor of Arts in Communications from Sacred Heart University and she earned her Master's of Education in Special Education at UMass Boston. Welcome, Martha. Thank you. Um, I would like to also share Patty's um, sentiments. Thank you very much for the opportunity um, to work here in North Reading. Uh, it's been a great transition. Uh, fortunately, coming on board uh, the end of August, Kathy and Carl put together oh, yeah. a great team building experience for us, so a great opportunity to work with the other administrators and just really get to know each other before we got into the trenches, so that was that was fabulous, so thank you. Um, I've been fortunate to actually meet some of the parents already, have some, have some meetings, sit down and get things going, so I'm just really excited to start the year and um, look forward to a, a very productive year. Great. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And I think um, after we introduce everybody, you might, I, I don't think the whole school committee is aware of the team building thing that you and Kyle put together. So you might want to take a couple minutes to uh, to let the rest of the committee know what, what you did. It was a lot of fun. I would be happy to do so. Kay. Next person is Christine Molly, new principal of the little school. And Christine was a first and a third grade teacher at the little school prior to becoming <coughs> principal. Um, she earned her Bachelor of Education from Salem State College with a major in elementary ed and a minor in art. She also earned her Master of Education in Ed Leadership from Northeastern University. She also has um, prior um, experience coming into the field of education that I think also prepared her well for this role. So may I present Christine Molly. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for having us tonight. Um, I just want to start by saying you could not have made a person happier. I am thrilled to still be at the little school it's the only place I ever wanted to be. And when I was going through my leadership program, um, people kept saying to me, why aren't you applying for jobs? Why aren't you applying here and there? This is where I really wanted to be. I have such great admiration for the people that I work with, um, the families, the students, across the district, the people I work with. I could not be happier, and I'm looking forward to a fabulous year uh, at the little school. It truly is a special place, and um, we all take great pride in the work we do there. Thank you for having us. So you were really glad to see Mr. Lasisco. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. Come he was on. a great mentor to me. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, it, it's interesting in that you are only the second principal of the school since we reopened. Um, Bill was there um, from the beginning. Fifteen and, years. Right. So. Um, and the school is. I mean, Bill. Bill um, ran a nice tight ship over there. And I think my kids went there. I know Jerry's um, yeah. my daughter, daughter went there. Yeah. So um, it's exciting to have a, a new principal there, and uh, we look forward to working with you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it as well. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. And next is Anthony Lepret. 
also known as AJ. I was going to say, do we call him <laughs> Anthony, though? <laughs> Tony! <laughs> oh, Anthony came to North Reading from Littleton High School, where he was assistant principal and the interim principal. He earned a Bachelor of Arts in Social Studies from Purdue University and a Master of Education in Ed Leadership from Cambridge College. He also participated in the Ed Leadership Institute, which is a licensure program in Waltham, Mass. So we welcome AJ. Thank you. Uh, I, I couldn't have asked for a warmer welcome uh, starting on July 1st and transitioning into the high school. It's been fantastic. And I, I think one, one thing that I am excited about is certainly contributing to the team that has already been assembled there, uh, but also learning from that team. Uh, I think certainly as, as we look as educators to say, how can I help? It's also how can, how can we learn? One of the things that I learned um, in my program is something I, I still kind of use as a foundational piece in doing this job as the assistant principal is uh, you're still a teacher, it's just a different curriculum. Uh, and I really try to keep that uh, as, a, as a, a theme uh, when I deal with students. So it's great to be here and I look forward to, uh, to working with you all. Welcome, and I, I got to spend about uh, an hour with AJ at the football game Friday night gabbing about <laughs> anything and everything about sports, and uh, I pointed Jerry out over on the other side of the field as, as part of the chain oh, gang, the chain so that, was, very right, good. that very was his good. introduction to, to Jerry. He saw Jerry across the other <laughs> side of the field, but uh, we had a great time at the, at the game chatting, so enjoyed. welcome. Oh, you have Thank big you. shoes to fill. I think Rosemary was about a 16. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 They're always yeah. like this? I'm just yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, AJ. Thanks so much. And last but certainly not least, Michael Maloney. Michael is the new assistant principal of the middle school. And similar to Christine, Michael was an English teacher at North Reading Middle School for the last two years, so he has been with North Reading already. And prior to coming to North Reading, he worked at Austin Prep as a teacher, an advisor, an assistant athletic director, and a coach. He earned a Bachelor of Arts in English from Boston College and a Master of Education in School Administration from American International College. Welcome, Michael. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd first like to thank you all for inviting me here tonight uh, to officially meet all of you. Um, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Mr. John Fauché and Mrs. Wallace for giving me this opportunity to continue uh, my educational career here at North Reading. Um, I've had a privile the, the privilege of working with some great people over the past two years, and I, uh, I've really enjoyed my time here. And speaking to Mr. Fauché at the end of the year last year, you know, he knew that I had applied for some other jobs in the past and said, you know, are you looking elsewhere? He said, no, I, I, I really, you know, I'm, I'm very happy here, and the only way I would look to make a change is if you know, something changed in the administrative ranks at, at the middle school. And, you know, fortunately, you know, Patrick, for me, Patrick moved up to, to his new position, and uh, I applied and, and was given this opportunity. I just want to let you all know that I'm going to work very hard uh, for the kids uh, at North Reading, for you all, and, and for the people that I've, uh, I've come to know over, over the past two years. And I think it has made my transition a little bit, a quick transition, a little bit easier knowing the faculty having a good rapport with those great people and at least knowing a third of the student population. So I uh, thank you all for the opportunity and I, I look forward to uh, continuing working hard at North Reading. Great. Thanks. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I know you have early days tomorrow, so please feel free to leave at this particular time. <laughs> these these meetings usually are riveting and stimulating, <laughs> but our ratings you know, are very right. high. Yeah, the ratings are high on television. Against so. Monday Night Football and all. <laughs> right, but if, if you do have to leave, we will completely understand. My husband's yeah. watching Star Trek. I know. I don't understand. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks Thank for coming. <laughs> we hired Kathy and the entire administrative team quit. I know. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> Be nice. You used to blame <laughs> Keith. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, let's move back to our um, continued business. We have uh, an update on uh, the secondary school building project uh, and what we're doing with the MSBA. Kathy? Very good. Well, on Friday, um, John Bernard and I were scheduled to have a teleconference with the design enrollment specialist as well as the field coordinator, and they needed to cancel. Okay. So they did reschedule for today. So today at um, 1 o'clock, uh, John Bernard and I had a telecon.